Hey yo, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing a reading from the 8th to the 16th of May. This is going to be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single person that watches it. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Leo. In this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, past energy, current energy, near future. All right. So your challenge for this week, Leo, is the Emperor. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Hermit in reverse. Okay. So Leo, your challenge for this coming week is the Emperor. Okay. Right now, your challenge is to bring stability into your life, okay? For many of you, there could be possibly someone coming in that's bringing a lot of stability into your life. I'm really strongly getting here that um, for many of you, it's th there's this very powerful, stable energy that's coming in. Your challenge could have a lot to do with you accepting or focusing more on stability. I'm gonna clarify this card and get some more information on this for you in a moment, okay? So in the recent past, Leo, we have the strength, we have the of pentacles and we have the six of pentacles so for many of you in the past i'm really getting that there was a strong sense of independence here in the past okay strength um strength conjunct the nine of pentacles a lot of you are doing very very well for yourself um i'm really strongly getting here that you know you didn't really need anybody for many of you you were giving a lot in the past to someone you were giving very generous here in the past because you were able to do that Okay, so in the present moment, you have the five of cups, you have the five of wands, and you have the ace of swords. A lot of you are receiving some sort of truth and clarity about a situation finally in your life. You're starting to see something for what it truly is. You're starting to recognize why something didn't work out. You're starting to learn more about a specific person. You're starting to learn more um, in terms of why there was a conflict. Okay, there was a conflict between you and a specific person. You could not see eye to eye to this person. It doesn't matter how much you try to make something work. You just could not see eye to eye with this person and what this led to especially in the present moment is a lot of you are releasing or focusing on something here that didn't work out but you're you're now connecting the dots in terms of why it wasn't working out in the first place okay the beautiful thing here with the five of cups is that behind you what you don't see behind you is the fact that there is a possible stable solid connection or commitment that could really bring a lot of um beauty to your life in the present moment okay so we're going to get some more information on this uh truth and clarity that's coming in for you in a moment i'm going to talk about the near future now so in the near future for you leo we have the two of wands we have the ace of pentacles and the lovers in the near future there is definitely this energy here of you disconnecting from someone completely okay two of wands is my card of disconnect it's also my card of separation so for many of you moving into the near future there could be a separation or there could be some sort of disconnect now if this isn't the case for you because i'm too i'm getting two solid stories here with the two of wands if this is not the case that there's no separation on the horizon for some of you there is a, a significant separation on the horizon in the near future for others of you you are going to be called to to choose a path okay to choose a direction that you want to take in your life and this is going to really change your life forever in the near future is what this is telling me and what you also don't see coming in the near future is the ace of pentacles and the lovers so there's going to be a brand new opportunity for you to finally connect with someone that you really love okay there may be some sort of um uncertainty here because you do have the two of wands the two of wands is saying you can go in any direction that you want you know to choose but there is going to be a significant connection here in the near future that um you may be entertaining it could be with an earth sign capricorn virgo taurus i'm also getting gemini here okay and some of you are, are separating from a, a fire sign leo sagittarius aries okay so what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the hermit in reverse we have the magician in reverse we have the page of pentacles in reverse we have the ten of cups in reverse and we have the seven of swords in reverse with the two of pentacles in reverse some of you stop trusting someone here 
okay? In the near future, it's very evident that you disconnect or you make a decision about a specific person that maybe once you had a family with or you thought you would have had a family with. This is someone that really could not fulfill you 100% and um, you're gonna be releasing this, okay? You're gonna be releasing overthinking uh, some sort of connection that didn't really work out for you in the first place, okay? So what we're gonna do now, Leo, is we're gonna clarify the cards and get some more information on this for you, okay? All right. So the first card I'm going to clarify for you is the Emperor. All right, so your challenge for this week, Leo, is the seven of, uh, five of swords, excuse me, the hanged man and the queen of pentacles, okay? So for many of you, there is a significant person coming into your life. Again, I'm getting, um, could be a Pisces, could be an Aries. I'm also getting um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, and I'm also getting Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, okay? So for many of you, there's a specific person that's coming into your life, they, they're, there's this energy here of you may be not taking action towards them. You're doing a lot of thinking when it comes to this person, okay? There's also a lot of competition here for your uh, time, your energy. There could be a lot of people that are interested in you. Your challenge for this week has a lot to do with you seeing something that could really bring a lot of potential in your life and possibly overthinking it or trying to overcome overthinking some sort of situation because this situation that's coming into your life, it has a lot of potential. The emperor has a lot of potential. This is someone who could really bring a lot of stability into your life. And I think that's something that you are looking for, Leo, or you at least have been looking for this for quite some time, okay? The issue here is, is that a lot of you aren't taking action or you're being very defensive or very... Um, you're being very competitive towards this person when really all they're trying to do is bring stability in your life, okay? So there's something here about you recognizing a certain individual that really can bring a lot of potential or a lot of... Uh, stability into your life and a lot of abundance okay queen of pentacles is very abundant she has resources okay so let's talk about the recent past and let's clarify the recent past i'm going to clarify the six of pentacles in the past So the Six of Pentacles is clarified by the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. For many of you in the past, okay, there was someone here that you were giving a lot to. You were giving, 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 giving to this person to the point where not only were you giving love, you could have been giving this person money. And a lot of you helped someone go from the, being the Page of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles, all through your love, all through your abundance, your Nine of Pentacles energy and strength. So how did this affect you, Leo, in the past? Let me clarify the strength how did this affect you okay so the strength is clarified by the queen of wands which is your energy the knight of cups and the ten of cups even though in the past you really um believed okay there was a strong belief here strength ten of cups you believe that this person can bring you happiness or could could have brought you happiness in the past the issue that i'm getting here is that even though you really didn't need much from this person you were standing on your own for some of you you had your own you have your own business or you started your own business in the past you just really didn't really need this person okay you came across as being very independent but what you truly wanted Leo in the past was love that's what you were after love true love um, someone that could really care and honor you as um, the person that you are okay 
For many of you, this person became very fickle with you, very in and out, very on and off. There was trust issues here in the past. A lot of you never really addressed this, but you could feel it in the past. And because you put a lot of energy and effort into this individual and they weren't really giving anything back to you, it really affected your confidence. It really affected your ability to believe in whether or not this relationship would work. So for many of you in the past, I feel like you turned your back to someone. You completely turned your back on this person because there was something about you not being able to completely trust them in the past, okay? So this is what I'm getting here in the past in the present moment leo you have the five of cups here i'm going to clarify the five of cups first and see what this is all about So the five of cups is clarified by the strength, the hermit and the judgment. You are in the present moment realizing why something didn't work out. Okay. A lot of you are recognizing what went wrong in a specific connection that you gave your all to. You gave your all. You put a whole bunch of energy, time, effort, money, resources into this person and they didn't appreciate you. So a lot of you are focused on that right now, but you're also realizing something. Okay. So there's a bit of conflict here within yourself, possibly within maybe dealing with a specific person someone here isn't doing what you want them to do in the present moment okay and i feel like this is a situation that has already manifested or, or already happened and you're just reminiscing about it with the judgment card here but in the present moment you have the ace of swords here so there's a very important message here about clarity which is going to help you um, better further understand why there was a conflict why things didn't work out why there was some sort of betrayal okay someone here stepped out let me clarify the Ace of Swords in the present moment for you, Leo. What truth are you receiving? We have the Knight of Pentacles. What else? So we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the... Uh, seven of wands and we have the five of wands so for many of you um because you had a bad experience in the past with a specific um sign i'm getting leo sagittarius aries i'm also getting cancer scorpio pisces someone here betrayed you virgo i'm getting as well too and i'm also getting scorpio so a lot of you experience some sort of betrayal and in the present moment there's a there's a really solid person that's coming into your life capricorn virgo taurus it's a solid person and a lot of you are fighting this person or you don't trust there's something here about you not trusting but but I think what you're being called to do in the present moment, Leo, is really um, not try not to mix whatever you have, whatever happened in the past with you and a specific person to let it influence your ability to find love in the present moment. If that's what's happening, because I this is what I'm seeing in the cards. Okay, there's a lot of conflict here, and you need to overcome this conflict that you, that you have within yourself. Let me clarify the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? Yes, yes, confirmation, okay? Five of Wands for you is clarified by the Fool, the Four of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. A lot of you are getting, you're getting confused about love. You're putting everybody in the same category, and that's, you shouldn't be doing that, okay? Because for many of you right now, what you're being called to do to release this conflict that you have within yourself is recognize what you need to do in order to have a new beginning. Because a lot of you are reminiscing on why something didn't work out. Why didn't it work out? Why did they cheat? Why did they lie? Like, whatever it is you're thinking, try not to allow that to affect this new connection or this new energy because there is a new beginning here that's happening for you in the present moment but a lot of you are fighting it or fending it off and this is why this person this this person that you're kind of fending off is coming in slowly okay so let's talk about the near future okay so in the near future you have the two of wands Let's clarify the two of wands in the near future. So the two of wands is clarified by the moon, the empress and the seven of pentacles. Okay. 
So for many of you um, in the near future, you have a decision to make about whether or not you're going to continue to invest in a specific relationship with fire sign Leo Sagittarius Aries could be with a Taurus or a Pisces. Okay. A lot of you are hiding your emotions or someone here in the near future is hiding their emotions because they're not sure about whether or not you are going to continue on this path. Because now in the near future, you have a decision. You have two significant paths that you can choose. Okay, you could choose to move forward to a new opportunity or choose to continue to invest in something here that you're not quite sure uh, whether or not it's going to grow. You're not quite sure whether or not it's something for you. Okay, so there's a new opportunity coming in for you. We're going to clarify the uh, Ace of Pentacles and we're going to see what is this new opportunity that's coming in for you. It definitely has a lot to do with a love connection, one where you feel a very divine and strong connection with a specific individual. So let me clarify the Ace of Pentacles for you and see what is this beautiful new opportunity that's coming in for you, Leo. What is this new opportunity that's coming in for you? Wow, Leo. Wow. Okay. Put your seatbelt on. Brace yourself. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Brand new opportunity that is coming into your life. What is this all about? Well, we have the Chariot, the Justice, and we have the Ace of Cups. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful energy here. So what I'm seeing here for many of you is that there's going to be a brand new love that comes in for you. This is your karma. This is your justice. You're going to be called to move forward. You're going to be called to take this brand new opportunity of love and move forward and not allow some sort of situation in the present moment that really has affected your confidence and your ability to trust in love to affect your ability to find new love or to connect with someone new here. There's a renewal of love here. For some of you, you're separating from one person and you're moving towards someone that is going to love you that is going to give you unconditional love ace of cups for me is unconditional love it's love that pours over it's genuine it's real it's not somebody who's just faking it till they make it you know this is someone who really cares about you and wants to move forward and the reason why this is happening for many of you leo is because this is your justice okay karma this is your justice that's coming in to um, bring forth a true connection a true loving person that's really um, meant for you because the divine has brought you and this person together okay the divine has brought you and this person together tell me more about this future connection uh for leo in the near future with the lovers what's going to happen here for leo in the near future with this connection wow Okay, so we have the lovers, which is clarified by the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, and we have the Nine of Wands. Yeah. This is you not completely giving up on love, finally. Okay, when you thought in the present moment, yeah, I'm just giving up on love. I don't believe in love. Love is just pff, whatever, Monica. I don't believe in it. Yeah, no, that's going to change in the near future. Okay, you start to believe in love again, you start to believe that there is a possibility for you to be in love with someone and they can be in love with you just as much. Why? Look at this. Look at this. Look at how the cards came out. You see, you're the queen of swords. You've been through so much. The queen of swords has been through so much that she just uses her logic. She doesn't use her heart anymore. A lot of you have start. You, a lot of you have stopped using your heart because you stopped believing in love. You stop believing in um, being able to trust in love but that changes because this person who's coming in okay the king of swords look how the king of swords is looking at the queen of swords he can't take her his eyes off of her this is someone who really loves you this is someone who really genuinely cares about you and you haven't had that for quite some time leo okay so this is what i see coming in for you it's a beautiful um ending that's happening for you and what you don't see coming like i said hermit in reverse magician in reverse you're no longer investing your mind your energy into some sort of situation that you know isn't going anywhere you're over it now okay um you're releasing something completely it's taken you a long time to do this okay it didn't just happen in one week it's taken you months to release someone that you really invested your time and energy into okay so let's get some advice for you leo what is the advice What is the advice for Leo? 
So the advice here for you is the Six of Wands, the Tower, and the Three of Swords. It is super painful um, what you went through, okay? The Divine is saying, yes, we understand the Tower that's happening to you, but own it. Own it, okay? If somebody sees you um, going through a breakup or someone sees that you've gone through something that really has affected you, own it. Be like, yeah, I did go through that, but you know what? That made me stronger. And you're able to really share your experience. There's something here about you needing to share your experience with other people because other people will learn from you. People are always watching you, by the way. The advice here is, is to own your pain. Own the breakup that happened. Own the tower moments that you've gone through. Don't be ashamed of it because this is what makes you stronger. This is what makes you stronger. Okay, Leo? So this is what I have for you. Super powerful reading. I hope you got something out of it. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.